Hey guys, it's Ern from Wrestling Inc. back with another wrestling news roundup. Without any further ado, let's get into today's biggest stories in the world of professional wrestling. Wall Street Journal reporters tease they are not done with Vince McMahon stories. The talk of the wrestling world continues to be the Wall Street Journal's Friday report that former WWE CEO and chairman Vince McMahon had paid more than $12 million to cover up various affairs and cases of sexual misconduct, including a $7.5 million pact with a former wrestler who alleged that Mr. McMahon coerced her into sexual acts and then demoted her and ultimately declined to renew her contract in 2005 after she resisted further sexual encounters, according to people familiar with the matter. This comes on the heels of a Wall Street Journal report last month that claimed McMahon paid $3 million to a former WWE employee to keep an alleged affair between them private. On Monday morning, the two reporters who broke the stories, Joe Palalozo and Ted Mann, stopped by Busted Open Radio to talk about the stories. Among other things, they were asked by co-hosts Dave LaGreca and Bully Ray whether their latest report was the end of allegations coming McMahon's way or just the beginning. Quote, I think it's probably not done yet, Palazzo said and we're continuing to report, end quote. The duo was asked if people can expect a story as big as the bombshell report that dropped this past Friday. Quote, I can just say we don't know about another 7.5 million NDA, Palazzo said. If you're asking if there's something bigger than a $7.5 million, no, that's not something we have in our back pocket. We sort of left it all on the field on this story. There are a couple of things that we didn't know that we're still reporting, and sometimes in similar scandals elsewhere, there are people who have something to share who become a little bit more emboldened to talk about it when the first coverage has happened. We're still working to figure out if there are such people out there." End quote. Former WWE World Champion Returns on Raw Turns Face Some big news coming out of last night's main event match on Raw is less about the in-ring action and more about a surprise appearance by Dolph Ziggler. The former WWE World Champion has appeared sporadically on the main roster throughout 2022, last being seen on the June 27 episode of Raw as part of the Last Chance Money in the Bank qualifying Battle Royal. Before that, Ziggler was applying himself to the development of the NXT roster, working a program with NXT champion Bron Breaker, where the two men were trading the NXT championship until Breaker came out on top on an episode of Monday Night Raw after WrestleMania. On last night's show, Ziggler would walk down to the ring during Bobby Lashley and Riddle vs Theory and Seth Rollins. The show would immediately go to a commercial break upon his arrival, and when they returned from the break, Ziggler was sitting in a chair at ringside, keeping his intentions unknown. As the match was nearing its conclusion, Theory rolled Riddle up with a schoolboy pin and put his feet on the bottom rope for extra leverage. That is when Ziggler would finally swing into action, jumping up and pushing Theory's feet away so he couldn't cheat. The crowd erupted in cheers as Theory looked on at Ziggler in disbelief, allowing Riddle to hit a distracted Theory with an RKO for the victory. The show would go off the air with Ziggler coming into the ring after the match and giving Theory a stiff super kick to the face. It's unclear exactly where the storyline is heading at this point, as Theory is already scheduled to face Bobby Lashley for the United States Championship at SummerSlam on July 30. It's obviously a possibility that Ziggler will be added to the mix to make it a triple threat, or maybe he has his sight sets on the Money in the Bank briefcase Theory is in possession of. Whatever the case is, it will be interesting to see where WWE takes the feud with open possibilities for where they want to take it right now. The upcoming rivalry between the two was hinted when they faced each other at back-to-back -back WWE live events over the weekend. Fans may find it surprising that Ziggler was actually booked to defeat Theory on both occasions, showing that they want to present him as a formidable threat to the rising star. Bray Wyatt trends as another mystery vignette airs on WWE Raw. Bray Wyatt has been trending on Twitter ever since WWE aired another cryptic vignette on the July 11 WWE Raw episode. As can be seen during the broadcast, the vignette included references to John Cena, Randy Orton and WWE Hall of Famer Mick Foley among others. Although many fans are holding out hope that the vignette would lead to the WWE comeback of Wyatt, 
the various references, especially the burned Foley jacket from WrestleMania 22, the 2006 RKO shirt, and a Cena cap are seemingly related to Edge's career. Similarly, the first vignette that aired during Money in the Bank earlier this month made subtle references to WWE Hall of Famer Kurt Angle, the Hardy Boys, the Dudleys, and Christian Cage. Subsequently, Fightful Select reported that the working plan was for the vignettes to represent Edge. Despite all signs pointing to the rated R superstar's comeback, many fans are still not convinced, making an argument that the vignettes could be related to both Edge and Wyatt. One fan even brought up the idea of Edge and Wyatt returning as part of a faction to feud with Finn Balor and Damian Priest of Judgment Day. Edge, the founder of Judgment Day, has been off WWE television since Priest, Balor, and Rhea Ripley betrayed him on the June 6th episode of Monday Night Raw, creating their own version of the faction. Meanwhile, Bray Wyatt recently filed a trademark for the name Wyatt 6 for the purposes of entertainment services, namely wrestling exhibits and performances by a professional wrestler and entertainer. The trademark filing seemed like another indicator of his imminent return to wrestling. He's been away from the business since his WWE release on July 31st, 2021. Special guest referee added to WWE SummerSlam title match. On last night's episode of WWE Raw, a slight adjustment was made to the upcoming undisputed WWE Tag Team Championship match at SummerSlam on July 30. The reigning champions, the Usos, will be putting the titles on the line against their longtime rivals, the Street Profits. But now, we also know that a special guest referee will be involved in the mix. Though a couple of WWE stars were teased as possible choices, the WWE Twitter account and match graphic is still referring to the referee as a mystery. When the two teams confronted each other during the show, the first applicant for the special guest referee spot emerged from the backstage area, R-Truth. The hysterical WWE veteran revealed a referee shirt under his clothes and showed the respective teams that he had been practicing pinfalls, countouts, and other referee-related tasks. That is when MVP and the Nigerian giant Amas emerged from backstage, making it known that Amas was interested in the spot of special guest referee. Furthermore, MVP assured the Usos that there could be more benefits in it for the bloodline if both parties start working in tandem. This led to a six-man tag team match between Amas, the Usos, versus R-Truth and the Street Profits, Amas would end up pulling out the victory after hitting his jackknife choke bomb for the pinfall victory on Angelo Dawkins of the Street Profits. The match at SummerSlam in Nashville, Tennessee will be another one of many matches the teams have had against each other in the history of the company. Their most recent tag title match at Money in the Bank was highly praised by viewers and people within the company, including SmackDown commentator Pat McAfee, who called it maybe the best match he's ever seen live during a recent episode of the Pat McAfee. McAfee Show. So what are your thoughts on today's Wrestling News Roundup? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Be sure to like and subscribe to Wrestling Inc. And I'll speak for you again very, very soon.